Oh, Chris, I'm too busy texting. But apparently you have a text marketing idea for our audience. Uh, Chris, uh, while I'm here busy texting, maybe you can explain this to our audience on BizDev Weekly. Absolutely, Kirsten. First off, thanks for having me. The uh, concept of text marketing is very broad and there's a lot to it. I'm going to narrow it in and just use it in a couple examples today. But text marketing is using a keyword and sending it through to a specific uh, text code. Mm -hmm. And the one we use up in Canada is through our good friends at Ivernet. Uh, their text code is 313131. And we use certain keywords that uh, will allow people to uh, send um, uh, that information through and get drawn into a landing page uh, with a specific link. Now. The interesting thing about text marketing is I'm going to use it from the aspect of home contractors with lawn signs. So first off, so few home contractors actually put lawn signs out. It is one of those cases where um, I believe this stat is 70% of um, home contractors uh, sales leads come from lawn signs. Now here's the kicker on this though, and so few people use it, they should put lawn signs out. The second mm -hmm. thing on this though is putting a text code on a lawn sign has the ability to increase the actual response rate by up to 10 times what the normal response rate is. And the reason being is because if someone has a phone number on there, first of all, so few people will actually pick up the phone and make a phone call unless they are absolutely desperate for what you have. Um, because most people want to explore and understand stuff first before they actually go and start getting engaged mm -hmm. with someone. Second one is if they have a website, if your website's super long and you can't remember it, guess what? I'm not going to remember it by the time I get home and go, what was that company again that I want to do? Here's the flip side, and I'll use one for a company that I'm dealing with right now, Guns and Hoses Roofing. If you text ROOF to 313131, it takes you through to a page where you click a link and it takes you through to their uh, quote page. And same thing, if I remember ROOF and 313131, not too tough to remember either one of those things. And I can do it while I'm actually going by the sign or if I'm walking by and doing that sort of stuff. And it is excellent way to drive a lot of uh, potential sales. The other places you can use this is think of anywhere where you have some some of your marketing branding going out. If you have a truck, home contractor for example, if you have a truck, put a text market on there. Put text marketing on there. Put a text code. Your your company name two three one three one three one, and you can contact us. We can get you in touch with Ivernet or do this stuff for you. Um, that'll also allow people to find ways to get a hold of you as well. So I'm talking lawn signs. I'm talking on trucks. I'm talking on anything that's out there. The one thing that always baffles me, Kirsten, is I drive by uh, you know the uh, bus stop benches, mm. and realtors have their stuff up there, and they've got these super long uh, web addresses and phone numbers that I cannot remember. Why wouldn't you just put your name against it on 313131 and get someone to, to come through to your landing page yeah. that way? What really gets me actually, and I saw it the just, just the other day here up in my own kitchen, uh, a bag of apples and a tag on the end with all this web stuff and then a big Facebook logo. And people put these big Facebook logos on their bench signs, on their on the sides of buses. And I think to myself, all right, what are you selling Facebook? You should be doing some kind of call to action. Of course, yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm on Facebook. How am I going to find you on Facebook? Why don't you use the text code? Makes a lot of sense, Chris. Absolutely, Kirsten. Not too tough to actually implement. Give us a call. Uh, email us, whatever you have to do uh, to get a hold of us. And we will uh, we can help you with us implementing it. Uh, check out our website at newlucid.com for more information or on back issues of our BizDev Weekly Show. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Cheers.